Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a hot take on the Not Effing Around Coalition. Uh, it's a 400 member uh, black uh, militia, all black militia. And uh, they protested in Lafayette, Louisiana on Saturday. Brandishing semi automatic weapons this is an article from the Daily Mail on the uh, archive today. Had to put it on archive today. So many damn ads on the Daily Mail. Sheesh. But uh, before we get into it, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribe. Please join me on BitChute before they take all the YouTubers away. And also check out my books, support the channel, Woke a Standard Novel, and of course the Pineys. Book 5 is now out. You can get the ebook, and we're having a contest. If you read the ebook and can figure out uh, what famous story the uh, book five is a parody of I will send you one person the first person to, to, to guess correctly will get uh, uh, signed copies of book one through four so anywho um, this is an organization of uh, armed black militia and you can see them holding their guns there they got good to trigger discipline you can see their their fingers are off the trigger so they know they 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 know what they're doing and this is the kind of stuff as a libertarian uh, I'm totally for because this gives citizens who feel that they are powerless power uh, it makes the cops think twice before you know if you're I mean look most cops are normal people but there's a tiny percentage excuse me I think I got a hair a tiny percentage that yeah they're 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 bad people uh, they're gonna think twice if, if you have a well-armed society and in fact if you have a well-armed society you're gonna have less crime to begin with because people are not just gonna rob you on the street they're gonna have to be worried that you're gonna go hey back the hell off man mm, there it is there it is <laughs> yeah um, so you know most of these guys are former veterans although you see the one guy in the picture on the right there you don't have his mask on correctly yeah you got to put it above the nose uh, but that's minor and uh, you know these guys look a little more menacing <laughs> because they have face mask on but you know other than that they're normal uh, although they're wearing black camo with sort of a SWAT team camo which has got to be hot hot as hell down in Louisiana uh, you guys should really think about camo um, and you got the black power fist <laughs> now they're they're you know I'm perfectly fine with this but they're demonstrating on behalf of yet another guy who doesn't sound like he was totally on the up and up. Um, his name was Taylor, Taylor, or Trayford um, Perry, Perry, Pellerin, Pellerin, I guess. Now I'm not sure what his deal was, but apparently there was some sort of disturbance, and he had a knife, according to the cops. I mean, who knows? what's well, true but um and then he tried uh there was some confrontation and then apparently he tried to walk into a convenience store and they shot him now it, it's it's a tough call because if you have a guy who's agitated or arguing with the cops and he and he is armed uh he's not listening to instructions and then he wants to go inside where other people are well you have to worry about i mean you're there to protect and serve everybody so you have to make a choice do you let this guy go in and hope he doesn't stab anybody or do you take him out so they're they're protesting his death um you know and i i don't know why you would carry a knife out in public like that and like wave it around and i you know i don't know if he threatened anybody but he apparently apparently he had it out enough so people could see it um you know, again, if the cops tell you to do something, just do it. Just do it. I get it. I, you know, people say, "Oh, the cops—they harass black people." I, I have no doubt that 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 uh, happens sometimes, but it doesn't make it any better to not listen to them. You know, whether the cop you're being harassed by is a guy who actually wants to harass you or just a guy doing his job, you you know walking away from him and tell him to go F himself or whatever 
not a good not a good look especially when you're armed so you know just do what the cops say just do what the cops say the worst case scenario is they arrest you you go to jail you go to a police station it's a big hassle you know if you have warrants well that's another story but you have to listen to the cops i mean that's the society we have you have to listen to them you know even as libertarians we you know we understand that uh we have certain rights and privileges and we know them probably better than most people but we also know it's a bad idea to start throwing it in the cop's face oh you're not allowed to just pull me over well yeah i don't have to roll down my window i don't i don't have to give you anything sir like if you're going to be antagon antagonistic are you really going to be surprised when they pull you out of the car throw you on the ground you try to be polite as possible and you try to be as calm as possible but some people they don't react that way uh i think a lot of them have been you know they they a lot of people who come from dysfunctional families and end up on the cops radar are just people who are essentially spoiled kids they were spoiled kids and they grow up they're spoiled adults they don't think they have to listen to anybody and then one day they do one day they're confronted by by an immovable object like a cop and the law <laughs> so for god's sake everyone out there just listen to the cops just listen to them if they're doing something wrong you have to take care of it later that's it you know uh, you know especially if they pull a gun if they pull a gun just surrender immediately you know um I can't think of any reason to run from a cop uh, unless you're, you know, 14 and drinking beer with your buddies in the woods. Uh, just surrender. Because if you don't, yeah, you can freak them out and they can end up shooting it. But um, these guys decided to hold a rally on behalf of this guy. I think there are plenty of bigger martyrs in the world for these particular incidences but uh you know if you want to hold it for this guy i mean that's your call i i, I don't think it really helps your cause all that much when people you know look them up and i also think it doesn't help to be a strictly black militia group i mean you know it'd be you know uh i i, I think everybody should have the right to defend themselves so but i do think it's a, a step in a positive step in that um you know with more people in the black community and latino community uh use their second amendment rights especially in this day and age when gun control arguments are out the window uh you'll have a situation where cops are going to be very reluctant to pull any bs on people unless they're doing something crazy now you have to be a responsible citizen most of these guys, again, are veterans. They got good trigger discipline. They're, uh, I don't like this, but, uh, you know, look at this guy. He's holding it right. He's got his finger off the trigger. You know, he, he seems to know what he's doing. And there should be good training. Look, they're all holding it. These guys are holding it just like Kyle Rittenhouse held their gun. Uh, they're holding it down. And they're very, they, they seem to be very careful. Um, but, you know, and I don't agree with everything they're doing politically, but... Uh, this is something, as Americans, we can all agree on, right? Uh, because if the S hit the fan and the Chinese decided to invade, well, you'd certainly be happy the NFAC was around to uh, fend off the invaders or whomever. Uh, we just got to get on the same page of who, uh, who, who the problem is. And uh, that's very complicated. It's very complicated. Um, you know... And uh, I think uh, in terms of, oh, here it is. Is this, uh, yeah, on August 21st, Lafayette police uh, shot and killed 31 Trayford Pellerin. Police say they pursued Pellerin above for half mile on foot after receiving a disturbance call at the Circle K gas station and that he ignored orders to stop. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that. Uh, here are some stills from the incident. You know, if he's got a knife and he's going into a convenience store, you can't, you can't do that. You just can't do that. Um, 
So, he should have listened. He should have said, he should have stopped. He shouldn't. Have, he certainly shouldn't have run away from them. I mean, once you start running away, look, he thought he could get away. Uh, once you understand you're not going to get away, if you're going to run away from the cops, you better not have a weapon on you. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's one thing if you're... 16 and you got no weapons on you and you run away from the cops and you're just playing hide and seek because you had some beers or whatever you know i i can I, I don't condone that behavior but i can understand it you could maybe outrun the cops if they just give up chasing you but when you have a knife they're obligated to find you you're a danger to the community so this guy was a danger. Now, you might argue he was a small danger, and that's probably true. He's probably a very small danger to the community, but you couldn't allow this guy to get inside the mini mart and stab somebody there. He could have killed someone. Now, did he intend to do that? I don't know. But, um, you know, again, you, you can't play with that. So, I think the NFAC has a strange name, uh, but uh, a good purpose overall. I think they, they picked the wrong person to protest. Uh, you, you just don't want to protest every guy who is shot by the cops because sometimes the shooting is justified. Now, was this one? I'm not sure. I, I'm leaning towards yes or somewhat. Uh, uh, it doesn't seem like it was egregiously bad. Uh, there are ones that are egregiously bad. I don't know why these organizations don't pick one of the egregious shootings. I don't know why you have to only pick a black person being shot. Isn't any member of your community being shot an outrage if he was innocent? That would be something that would give a group like this a lot of credibility. I mean, if you're an all-black uh, militia and you protest the, de uh, the unjustly death of someone of another race well then you're being you know ethically consistent and then people could say oh well these guys yeah they don't they don't like it when the cops shoot people and it's unjustified okay that that makes you principled if you're just going to protest the black members of community uh of your community who are shot for for any reason well that that doesn't seem very principled to me it seems like you're just you know you're just dividing us amongst racial lines and that's that to me doesn't seem like it's going to move the needle forward it doesn't you know we're not going to get segregation i mean what do you want you want you want segregating police force you want only black cops to patrol in your area that's that's where a lot of this seems to be heading uh you know a lot of this seems the left seems to be totally up for segregation, which is bizarre. It's so bizarre to me. These were the people who were saying, no, segregation's wrong. We have to integrate, integrate, integrate. And that it was right. And we integrated. And, you know, most people are fine with that. 99% of the population is totally fine with it. Now we have now we have people on the left being not fine with it. It's just, it's just bizarre to me. But good for you, exercising your Second Amendment rights. Just, you know, be careful out there. Have good trigger discipline.